I'm an evangelist for all things fungal. I mean, I revel in the activities of the mushroom forming fungi. There's 16,000 different species of these extraordinary organisms. The book begins with a chapter on mushroom development, which is this almost a seemingly magical process by which mushrooms emerge overnight. And the mechanism is hydraulic. Um, there's millions of cells within this preformed uh, fruit body, this, this embryonic fruit body, and these undergo a 1,000 fold expansion through the absorption of water. Um, absolutely beautiful mechanism. This rapid expansion of the cells um, in the embryonic mushroom allows the, the, the fruit body to unfurl its gills and then pepper the air with billions of microscopic spores. The individual spores are shot or shoot themselves from the gill surface, uh, surfaces by this extraordinary mechanism that's energized by the movement of tiny droplets of fluid. There's nothing else like this in the living world. And we see this, this repeated again and again within the fungal life cycle, that we're dealing with just a very, very different way of getting one's genes into the future. Mushrooms work in a fundamentally different fashion from most other organisms, from all other organisms. Um, I look at some of the historical figures involved in the study of, of mushrooms. One of these um, was a gentleman called Worthington G. Smith, who um, really came up with a, he convinced himself, it was a fantastical idea, completely wrong, that mushrooms actually produced semen contained, that contained swimming sperm cells. So as I said, this was completely wrong. The correct answer is that mushroom sexuality involves uh, fusion between compa compatible colonies and this was first outed by a young woman, Elsie Wakefield, who was working as a graduate student in Germany before the First World War. And it was Elsie's work that led to the later discovery that certain species of, of mushroom forming fungi have tens of thousands of different mating types or sexes. So this completely you know, destroys any idea that gender should be viewed in a, in a binary fashion. Absolutely fantastic work.